Well, guys, we're back for another benchmark of uh, Star Citizen. Yeehaw. And, well, depending on the CPU performance, I'm going to be cutting this. There'll be, there'll be a cut. Um, I'm initially testing if they fix the efficiency cores for Star Citizen. And if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say that, um, if you have an Intel CPU with efficiency cores, and last time I tested this, if you did not deactivate the efficiency cores and left just the P cores, the performance cores, your performance was extremely horrible, even if you have a 4090 like me. So, yeah, hopefully they fixed it, and if not, I'm going to quickly go into my BIOS, switch it out, and then we'll continue the benchmark normally with just the efficiency cores deactivated. Okay, yeah, I think it's kind of not great because it doesn't seem like like the, CP the GPU usage is, uh, you know, I can't even, I don't even know if it's fixed or not because last time I was in Orson, we're getting 60, a little over 60 FPS, like mid 60s. And if you're unaware, at least last time I was benchmarking orson is the most demanding benchmark location because of, oh that looks ugly what is up with that that is hideous okay so 1440p everything very high motion blur off because I mean, I don't know if I need to really explain that. Um, I, I'm unaware of why it looks so trash. Okay, while I'm still questioning if this is actually, you know, working, and why does everything look so... Maybe it's overly sharp. That might be why it's so ugly for me. Here, we can turn down the sharpness. Am I, am I blind? Where's sharpness? Oh, sharpening. Turn it down to, like, 20. That's uh, still bad. Okay. Okay, so uh, specs are 12900K, so last generation top of the line CPU, 4090. Well, obviously, because you clicked the video. I hope that makes sense. And then um, 64 gigabytes of DDR5 memory. That will definitely not be an issue. <laughs> and if you're seeing the top left, we're using 28 gigabytes of RAM, so dang. GPU is a decent utilization. Like seriously. We were not never I was never getting this much. But uh, this is actually hideous. I don't know. Oh, you guys can't really even s I'm looking at oh, you can't see a t teeny bit of it, but it's so yeah, no, it's horrible. Okay. Hmm. It's odd, though, because last time I was doing this with my E cores in the game, it was stuttering. Right now, it's not really stuttering, which is kind of odd. We're going to go up to the station, by the way, up in, up in space, if you guys are you know, up there, up yonder. And we're gonna, I'm gonna set my residence there, and then I'm gonna change my, uh, alter my CPU, see if, like, any performance changes happen up there. And the reason why I'm not doing it here is because down here, it's just so inconvenient. Like, so inconvenient. Well, so serves me right let's go wow we're back guys after the crash and I actually disabled the e course and I think I can already tell there's performance improvement because we were getting 40 30 ish and now here we are and it feels so much smoother Probably because there's no micro stutters. So I did think they performed the E-Cores a little bit, which is amazing. But yeah, I had uh, disabling them, and now here we are after the crash. I guess.
guess the crash did do something good, just making me get, so you know what? Might as well just disable them before come back. So we can just test the 4090 without any massive bottlenecks. <laughs> but it does feel smoother, which is, well, better. But there is also just the possibility that I got onto a better server. So. Oh, look at that guy in chat. 330Ks and trapped on a station with multiple hangers that kill you as soon as you start to leave. Really rough day. Whoa. Everyone's already saluting 07. He thinks people are thinking they're going to 30k. And honestly, dude, if I 30k one more time, this will be the second video I attempted today that became a failure. So, uh, funnily enough, I was actually going to do originally Jedi Survivor as a benchmark because I thought they would have, you know, really fixed the performance of the CPU. <laughs> Ironically, it's also CPU on this game, that's the issue. But, uh, no, no, they, they, they probably fixed it for a lot of lower end, uh, PCs, but I'm still getting like, you know, 70, 80 FPS with the 4090 and 12900K, so it's not really making me feel that great, but whatever. I usually take out my, um, I usually take out my, uh, uh, hammerhead, but hammerhead's so slow. Let's hope I can open the ladder this time. There we go. Couldn't do that last server. I guess it was just a bad server. Oh, that was not very smooth at all. If I remember correctly, I think they actually made it so that the Orson flight was actually significantly shorter than it once was. Yeah, look at that. Where would... There it is. Significantly shorter. It's not, uh, I guess, with the. And we're instantly there. Oh, wow. That was a little fast. Yeah. It looks like it's a pretty similar performance. Very similar. Though, I'm guessing since I joined a, probably a, a new server, because people keep talking in chat about how trash the servers are, and, um, so you're definitely going to have a different experience. And if you have a better CPU, then, well, actually, lucky you. But honestly, you're not going to get much more performance out of it than I am, since I'm already, like, what, 91% usage when I'm looking at Orison. Though, everywhere else, you're probably going to get you know, decently higher. See, the, at least the perform, like the FPS, doesn't just massively drop. It stays steady. But that's just because that's where the CPU is bottlenecked. And why is this? Why does it say the CPU is being used at five percent? That is very inaccurate. I'll take a look at that some other time. I don't know why it's so bad. Um, I think I'm going to be ending this video, and because we're not going to get any difference in any. Like, the only difference you're going to get is if you're in 4K. 4K, and you have to be looking at Orson, literally. Anywhere else, like, if I go look in that direction, 40%, you're going to have the same FPS as me. It's kind of just makes things kind of just useless just testing this game because, you know, it's so freaking unoptimized. Dang, does this game look good? Um, okay, well, if you guys enjoyed this abominable video of me just saying random crap, also, just a reminder, this is max settings on everything. If you wanna, if you need, you know, obviously you're not gonna all have the power of a 4090, so just, I'd recommend medium volumetric clouds, and it will, 
you know, lessen the perform like the, I don't know what you call it, the weight of the, uh, the performance, whatever. It'll, it'll give you a lot more resources on your GPU, and that, this is looking at Orison with the, you know, uh, like I said, a billion times, has the most volumetric clouds, and volumetric clouds are the most demanding part of Star Citizen. You're looking anywhere else, you're just going to be just fine. Honestly, you're going to get probably the same performance in this game with a 4080, uh, 60, even like going back last generation, 3090, 6900 uh, XT, or 6950 XT. Even with the new 7900 XTX or XT. Now recommended, get 32 gigs of RAM because if, as you can see, I'm using 28.9, uh, so 29 gigs of RAM. You can technically play with, play with 16, but I, I'm, I haven't played with 16 on this game since I got my... Why, hello there. Since I got my, uh, to, this guy's distracting me. Since I got my 3060 Ti a while ago. Oh wow, that shit's bigger than I thought it would be. Sheesh, it's not as cool as my hammerhead, but it's pretty neat, dude. Pretty neat ship. I really don't even play this game. I'm just obsessed with the ships. Okay, um, yeah. So it's 32 gigs of RAM recommended. You could probably you'll. Honestly, a 3080, even 3070. Actually, no, I'd recommend 3080. 12 gig 3080, maybe. 6700 XT with 12 gigs also. That's just to be safe because my GPU is using 9 gigs right now, so 3070 with its 8 gigs might not be the best bet. Maybe a 3060, though, with its 12 gigs could, would be a safe bet. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to run at max, like at 1440p, probably max settings when I mean, you could obviously yeah you, you'd have the memory but like your gpu performance would be like a third of what i have not a third that's a bit excessive maybe it's not optimized so it's pro it'll probably be i don't know actually i can't i'm not a mathematician and i'm s just this is a super long outro but uh I love this game. Just the idea of it, to be honest. That's what I love. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, do consider subscribing. Maybe. That'd be so nice of you. You have no idea. I'm trying to get back in the grind of making videos because I took like two months off after, you know, so, like, I was doing it for two years straight, just making one or two videos, even sometimes three videos a week. But I'm going to try to just make a video a week during the summer even while I'm working a full-time job. So, yeah. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.